What up? It's your boy NWP, and today, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 got patch 1.05. And there's a lot to talk about, so let's get this stuff out of the way as fast as we can. But if you haven't subscribed to the channel, take the time right now to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell just next to it so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. If you like this video at any time, hit the thumbs up. And if you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, drop them in the box below. Now, additionally, with, the, with what you see in the background right now, this is more time, you know, better than ever. No time better than ever. Hit the link in the description and get your chance to win some of the you know goodies so that you can buy some cod points and whatnot but anyways here's the patch notes okay i'm gonna bring these up on the screen and scroll through them kind of slowly pause it if you want to read anything specific that you see there um but here are all of the patch notes so when i say this is going to be one hell of a long video this is one hell of a long video okay you got a lot to talk about here. Look at this. Just look at this. Mountains of changes in the game. So hopefully you watch this video prior to jumping into a multiplayer game or a blackout game so that you know what's up and you don't feel like you're playing something new. But anyway, let's get right into the biggest change in, that's going to hit the, the cosmetic scene but the black market. And we got Bone Crusher here which is another one of the Muertos themes, as well as Angelita, another Muertos theme with this, you know, Halloween kind of theme going on. A basketball kind of emote, which, you know, it's, it's cool. Not really my scene. I like the, you know, like the in-your-face, like, you know, you're actually making fun of people ones. Uh, the gold tiger, like, I, I like this with the reflective gold tiger. I think it looks pretty good. Um, metallic for crash. I don't know. I don't really like, I see a little bit of glinting here and there. It doesn't really look super metallic and the skull icon, you know, maybe you guys got a PlayStation pro and that metallic looks better, but there we go. Necronaut little skull. Now we don't really have a great, awesome, amazing gameplay for the background. Okay. Cause like I've been getting crapped on all day. So yeah, that's what to expect. Uh, but you know, I had to get something up for you guys. So I did what I could and got something up as fast as I could. Uh, but anyways, let's just go right into the for patch notes and just get them out of the way as fast as we can. We'll rattle through as many of them as we possibly can here. And uh, yeah, hopefully it uh, be, proves to be beneficial here. You know what I mean? Hopefully it's one of them situations. So we got multiplayer. Nuketown was added and a Nuketown playlist. Um, and obviously a featured playlist. And that is probably the biggest thing for a lot of people, but uh, as well as an endurance playlist. Now, but this is talked about a little bit later on, but endurance has really like long games and, uh, you know, like you're talking 400 point dom, stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Blackout, the Bowie knife was added. Find and wield the, this classic weapon for one hit melees. To celebrate the launch of Nuketown, zombies now spawn on Nuketown Island with a new zombie supply stash spawn location behind the Nuketown sign. Black Market, Blackjack Shop is open as you saw earlier. And if you guys want to get, to get a chance to win, uh, you know, some COD points, you know what to do. Hit that subscription button. Uh, gameplay balance changes, okay, in multiplayer mode, um, this is mostly in MP. <clears throat> a few of these things are, you know, across the board, but most of these are MP. The submachine guns, pretty much across the board, all of them, well, the Cordite, the Spitfire, the GKS, and the MX-9 all got slightly increased ADS movement speed. And the MX-9 got a 6-meter uh, adjustment to its 5-hit kill range. And the GKS got a 3-meter, Cordite got a 3-meter and the Spitfire got a three meter for its six hit kill range. So th those are all pretty pretty changed uh, for the better, I believe. So, you know, check out the, your local SMGs. The Maddox RFB's recoil for the first and second shots has been increased. So you now like, you know, don't have to like actually wield it a little bit better, which is probably a good thing. The Echo Fire Operator mod removed the recoil penalty when equipped. Okay, so that's all right. Now, here's a one that I like and have, you know, as you can see from this gameplay, has become pretty strong. The KN57, reduced idle sway and slightly increased 4-hit kill range by 1.5 meter. I mean, 1.5 meters is really nothing. That's, 
you know what I mean? But like, if you really think about it, when you're in a long gunfight, like you know, long range, that actually probably would help a lot. The Rampart 17 also got a reducement in its idle sway, slightly reduced recoil for its first and third shots, and increased four hit kill range by three meters. So, Rampart, I don't know. I haven't had a really nice feeling game with it yet, but it's uh, you know it did get buffed. The Swordfish got slightly reduced delay, uh, reduced the delay between bursts, so that's a, that's uh, fires a little bit faster. Reduced its idle sway. The Penta Burst Operator mod now implements standard burst delay. So with the Titan LMG, we have reduced ADS speed, increased sprint out time, slightly increased hip fire spread, stock slightly reduced movement benefits when equipped. Sniper rifles. The Outlaw has basically been buffed across the board. Slightly increased fire rate, greatly reduced idle sway, slightly increased ADS speed, updated ADS rechamber animation to make it easier to stay on target, recoil now centers more reliably, increased base damage by 10, only affecting shots to kill an already damaged target, MP only. The SDM added aim assist while hip firing. What the fuck is that? No. The Kashka recoil centers more reliably after the first shot. That's pretty good. SG-12 shotgun. Visual effect of strobe light operator mod has been reduced. The range at which strobe light affects aim assist by, has been reduced by 50%. And now for attachments. The, we have reduced flinch mitigation on the grip 2, and that's about it. So attachments really didn't get touched, but we all knew the grip 2 was a little bit overpowered to begin with. So, oh well. Now, there has been some specialist changes, and some of them are definitely for the better, and some of them are definitely, definitely for the worse. The 9-bang flash effect has been reduced by 25%. That's awesome. 9-bang is now countered more effectively by tactical mass. The increased bullet spread by 25% in fortify stance when using the ballistic shield. Ajax turn speed is now properly slowed when he's hit by a concussion grenade with the ballistic shield equipped. Resolved an issue that could prevent Ajax from being hit from certain angles from behind with the ballistic shield equipped. Added a third person sound effect for charges 2 and 3 of the 9 bang. Nice. Profit. Increased accuracy for the Tempest. I don't know if that was necessary. Tempest charges attached to players will no longer be destroyed by vehicles. What? I don't even understand that one. Resolved an issue where the Seeker Shock could get stuck in a loop on Morocco. Yeah, I've seen it get stuck in more places than Morocco. Fire Break. The Purifier will now properly damage the Strike Team. Oh, that's awesome. Ruin resolved an issue that could lead to the Grappling Gun failing to connect sur to surfaces when the player was moving. Yeah, that's that was kind of necessary. I don't really use Ruin, but that w I'd say that was definitely necessary. Tactical Mask for Perks has increased resistance to 9-bang, concussion grenade, and razor wire. That works against razor wire? Flak jacket increased resistance to explosive damage. It's like, what? That's what the perk does, man. <laughs> Cold-blooded. Increase the delay period before enemy AI will target players during a period of maintained uh, line of sight. This will give players more time to get cover or to fight back against enemy. It's pretty effective. You can actually like zigzag the dog. It's kind of dumb, to be honest with you. Dead Silence will now suppress players' sounds related to healing, taking fall damage, or surfacing while swimming. Affects MP and Blackout. Oh, so finally, Dead Silence works like Dead Silence. That's amazing that that, was, that oversight was even oversaw. Is that a word? Oversaw? Score streaks. The strike team can only now only be called in one time uh, per team. You can't have multiple of them up. Now, as I said before, there has been some changes to playlists, and in playlists, the biggest changes are uh, endurance has been added to the to the merc uh, merc That's not mercenary. What's wrong with me? Endurance chaos mosh pit added to featured category with six v six with double score limits. Includes TDM with a hundred and fifty score limit, fifteen minute time limit. Domination with 200 score round limit, 400 score match limit, hard point with 500 score limit, 10 minute time limit, kill confirmed with 120 score limit, 15 minute time limit. That's, I mean, it's been fun. It's a little bit, probably a little bit more fun in a squad, but uh, it is actually pretty awesome. 
Mercenary capture mosh pit added to the featured category. 5v5 domination, hardpoint, and control with no parties allowed. Hardcore search and destroy added to featured category. Gun game remains in featured category. Which we kind of expected gun game to stay. Uh, there's been some spawn adjustments. Um, for basically, in team deathmatch, domination, free for all, hardpoint, control, and on the map, seaside and gridlock. Um, Game modes, custom games resolved an issue that would display friendlies as enemies, which has been a problem for the competitive scene for like the last week. I was laughing so hard at some of the memes that were going on about that. <clears throat> you uh, now damage yourself if you try to steal somebody's care pack in hardcore by shooting them. If they are on your team. Adjusted health models so we can better balance out low damage weapons in hardcore such as SMGs and pistols. Uh, armor has also been rebalanced for hardcore. Razor wire no longer does team damage to teammates who may have the razor wire. Resolved an issue where bots would not play a hardcore variant of a mode. That was that was the greatest thing ever. Heist seeker shock mine was increased. Hellstorm cost increased. Lightning strike health cost increased. Do people even play that? The attraction waypoint is now shown at the start of the round. Resolved an issue where the lightning strike kill cam would not show correctly if a player ki if killing a downed player. Yeah, okay, whatever. So, and then the, the CWL custom games were added. Challenges, hard stop challenge recovered. The majority of lost hard stop challenges, basically. Just the, the rest of the stuff is just like stability stuff, really. For some but that's going to do it for this patch. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for subscribing. As always, have a good one.